Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. This week we're going to talk about if-then statements inside of Fusion. So let's take a look. So in this example, I have a bookcase that I've created using some parameters. Uh, I'm going to go into my Modify Change Parameters window. And here you can see that I have some intelligence built in. Uh, you know, I created plywood. It's 0.5 inches thick. I've specified height, width, and depth of the bookcase, and then also the number of shelves. And then down here in the patterning of the shelves, you can see uh, that I have some information. So, you know, it's looking for how many, so it's going to use whatever the number of shelves is. In this case, it's three. And then I also have the spacing of the shelves, and that's the space distance right here. You can see uh, I put in height divided by number of shelves minus a couple inches. So it's taking the height of 72 and dividing that by the number of shelves, which is three, and then subtracting four from that. And that's how it got the spacing of 20 inches. Now, what I want to do is build in even more intelligence as I'm potentially changing my design. So for example, if the uh, bookcase gets taller, let's say, you know, nine feet or 10 feet, I might want it to have like five shelves instead of three shelves. Or if the height and the width get a little bit larger than a certain size, I might want the plywood to increase in thickness for that extra stability and extra strength. And that is where we're going to start using these if and if then statements. So a prime example is this number of shelves. So like I mentioned before, if the height gets above a certain size, I want it to have more shelves. Or if it's below a certain size, I want it to have less shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and build in this expression. So I'm gonna click here and start to type in if, and you can see it's a function. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there and it creates these parentheses for me. Now the if statements are a little bit confusing until you kind of see the whole thing, but I'll kind of explain what's going on. So we're creating an if statement. I'm going to say if the height, and so you can kind of see it's, it's using the variable height, is less than or equal to. So I'm doing a less than sign and an equal sign. And I'm going to say if it's less than or equal to four feet, I want it to only have one shelf. So I'm going to put a semicolon and then a one. Okay, and so again, what this is basically saying is if the height is less than or equal to four feet, we want one shelf. Well, I wanna add in another if statement. So I'm gonna do another semicolon and do another if statement, kind of like inside this one. So I'm gonna say if the uh, height, so again, I will I'll pick height, um, is less than or equal to six feet, then I want it to be three shelves. I'll move my cursor. So again, if the height is less than or equal to four feet, we'll have one shelf. So it's four feet, three feet, three and a half feet, it'll have one shelf. Also, if the height is less than or equal to six feet, it'll have three shelves. And then I'm basically doing an else statement. So I'm just going to do another semicolon and I'm going to say five. So if it doesn't match either of those, so if it's not less than four, or if it's not between four and six, it's going to use five shelves. Now you'll notice it's still red, and that's because I'm missing a uh, an end parenthesis. So we need to make sure, like, for example, this parenthesis closes that parenthesis, and this parenthesis closes that parenthesis. And once everything is black, that means everything is good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter, and we've just built this if statement. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So if the height is less than four feet, we should only have one shelf. Or I'm sorry, less than or equal to. So let's go ahead and just type in four feet for the overall height, and you can see 
that sure enough, it went to one shelf. If we go to 4.5 feet, you'll notice it's using three, okay? And that's because it's greater than four feet, which is only one shelf, but it's less than six feet. So we're saying three shelves. And then lastly, let's go ahead and do um, seven feet. And we can see that we now have five shelves. Now let's take a look at changing um, the thickness of the plywood depending on the size of the bookcase. So once again, I'm going to use an if statement, but I'm going to do an if and statement in this case. So I'm going to start by typing in the if function. And then I'm going to basically build a function inside of a function. So I'm going to do another left parenthesis, and I'm going to say if the height of the cabinet is less than or equal to six feet. Oops, let me go six feet. And then I'm going to close that and say, and the width of the cabinet is less than or equal to three feet. Then I wanted to do a certain thing. So that's why I put that inside an extra parenthesis because I'm using this and statement. So once again, if the height is less than or equal to six feet and the width is less than or equal to three feet, I want the plywood to be, you know, 0 0.5 inches in thickness. Otherwise, so I'm going to put a, a semicolon in there, I want it to be 0 0.075 in thickness. And we can see that that equation turned black, which means it's good. Um, again, really quick review. If it's less than or equal to six feet high and three feet wide, it's going to be half an inch in thickness. Anything above that, it's going to be 0.75 inches in thickness. So I'll go ahead and uh, say OK for that. And we can see that right now it says the plywood is 0.75 in thickness. And that's because our height is seven feet. Let's change that to six feet. And we can see that we've now changed the plywood thickness to 0.5. And if we zoom up on this, we can actually watch the cabinet updating. So let's go ahead and change that again to like seven feet. I'll hit enter and you can see how the plywood's a little bit thicker. So not only have we built in intelligence for the number of shelves, we've built in intelligence for the thickness of the material. So I'll go ahead and um, change that back to six feet. We're back to 0.5 and then let's change the width to be a six feet. And you can see that the thickness got thicker because we've made this wider. If we change the height, um, let's go ahead and change that to like nine feet. We now have five shelves with the thicker material. If you go into Fusion Help, Learning and Documentation, and go into Product Documentation, and do a search for parameters. And then this parameters reference, it talks all about the different kinds of parameters you can do. And if I keep scrolling down, here are the if, and, or, not statements. And they actually give some examples using like a, a cabinet or a bookshelf. You can kind of see the, the examples there. And then you can see um, another example down here. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.